welcome back to roulette fever friends today i'm back with a street bet strategy or you can say double street bet strategy and we are going to start our betting with one dollar unit size okay why we are starting with one dollar you can start with 50 cents also do your own math okay accordingly why you are starting with one dollar and not with 10 or 50 or something like bigger you know you'll get to understand that as you go along because it's progression is a bit different and we are going to be a bit more aggressive on its progression than our previous strategies so let's start what we are going to do is that we are going to bet on the five states and we're going to avoid the last street that hit so in this case here the last double street we're going to avoid the last double street that hit so we're going to bet on the other five double streets okay it's always tough to bet on the double streets that's anyway and, and the spin its progression is a bit aggressive one that's why you are starting with one dollar unit size okay and always we'll avoid the winning double street spin if you feel a bit more impatient then you can start with ten dollars five dollars anything you like anything you are comfortable with okay so this time we are gonna avoid this double street and we're gonna place it here as long as we are winning we don't need to do anything okay we are just gonna avoid the last winning double street that's all and after we lose this progression is a bit more aggressive one do it stuff it's a bit on double street hang around i'm going to exp explain it to you it's not difficult but it is aggressive but it's it's been working fine you know as, as far as I've used it, it's been working fine for me. Okay. My goodness. This is tough. <laughs> Fat fingers. Even when I was trying it out earlier, the same problem, you know. It's difficult to put that bait on the second street. On the two streets, and it's tough. Anyway, again, we are going to avoid the last winning dozen. Okay, this is, understand, this is the one. We haven't lost yet. We are avoiding the last double straight, last winning double straight. Okay, again, we are going to avoid the last winning double straight. We are covering most of the numbers, so that's why we will win most of the occasions. But obviously, there will be time when you will face back-to-back -back losses, you know. You'll have to be prepared for that, both mentally and financially. That's why I'm starting with $1 unit size, you know, so that we can go aggressively on the progression here. I was fearing this would happen to <laughs> zero. Okay, anyway, we don't need to change anything. Okay, so now, so what we are going to do, we are going to keep on betting on the same double street that we bet on the last round, and we are going to add $5 on each and every those bets. Okay, the idea here or the objective here is to get back the lose, lost amount and also be on a new session high at the same time. Okay. So we are at seven. We are on seven last time. So hopefully, yes, we'll have a new session high now. See, now after winning, we'll be back to our base bet, and we will avoid the last hitting double street once again.
Now, as you can understand that we are playing with $1 unit size, so reaching 10 would be enough. And whenever we will lose, we will add one unit with $5, you know, on each and every progression step. And we will look whether we have reached a new session high or not. Anytime we do reach a new session high, we will be back to our base bet of $1 unit on each and every double street, except the last winning one, okay? In this case, this one the last winning one so you are gonna avoid that let's see if we can reach to 10 i think we have yeah so this was the strategy guys increase five dollars put five dollars on each and every double street when we lose obviously avoiding the last winning double street in this case this was zero so we kept our bets on the same double streets and avoiding the last double street that hit and yeah just keep on adding one more unit of five dollars per loss and always check your session high whenever you reach a new session high come back to your base bet of one dollar unit size you know to the each and every double street except the last hitting double street let me know how you like this strategy what you don't like about it text me in the comment section and if you want to make any modifications into it let me know about it i would love to hear it from you okay observe it properly try it on demo best of luck see you in the next video